Hey guys, welcome back here to my channel and today I'm going to be cracking on with my Mac Hypercoaster build and today I'm going to be focusing on basically part two of doing the queue line and also doing the marquee for the ride to where the guests would enter. Now I found this really cool picture on Google. I just had to change it and um, drop it into two sections here and so I could make it look like the right proportion. Um, I'm going to put the billboard here with this design and then I'm going to actually try and like um, place pieces over the top of it to make it look a bit more 3D and made out of rocks etc. So the picture is just there as a template basically. Currently just trying to position how I want it. Originally I wanted to have two of these like facing each other um, but it didn't quite work out for the space and I think it looks better with just one and I'm just making like the um, entrance here with these really cool blocks from like the Egyptian mod set and uh, one of those is going to be the fast pass entrance and the other one is going to be the standard kind of queue line where you would wait maybe longer. So I'm just using some rocks here as well just to kind of put a roof over those pillars for the entrance. I'm going to like change the directions of them make them look a little bit more organic but I wanted to get a little design going along the front there. I'm also just going to change up the shades of the colours as well so they're not all one colour but I'll do that afterwards once I've got them all down. Just building like a little um, wall here behind where the um, kind of statue is going to be and then I'm just going to try and add a few little more bricks in there to make it look a little bit more organic and not like some random big wall. Um, but once it all comes together I think it will look fine. Just need to throw in some more angled rocks etc in there to make it look a little bit better. So now comes the troubling task of trying to find which pieces to use to actually do this statue. So of course any bits that are around are going to use a disc. Um, I'm going to use some pillars as well. But I try to mainly do like all like of that tan skin area in shapes using like the disc and trying to like make them smaller to make the gaps. It was quite difficult I must say. Um, using the a pillar here for the arms and the legs. Um, mm -hmm. And then, yeah, the skirt little kind of drape over the front there was actually quite hard. Um, wasn't quite sure what to um, do, but I did figure it out. For the, like, the necklace and everything, I'm just using a C turned sideways in the text. I'm using a dash there for the armbands. And then, yeah, I'm just going to fill it in. When I delete the billboard, you'll kind of see how it looks. And actually, I do think it turns out to be not too bad. Uh, I tried, off, I tried uh, using like a square pillar here to try and do the drapey bit that wasn't really working out and then i realized it was exactly the same shape as these pieces from the walls but they're a little bit too big but i think i think it uh the white one is okay but the yellow one's not so i'm just going to use like a um i can't remember what i used now actually i think i used like maybe the circular shapes again i'm not quite sure we'll come back to that i guess in a bit um again using pillars there for the hat just re-putting on that shape there the face was really difficult I'm not going to lie, um, so we'll get onto that in a second as well. Like I said, this was just trial and error, going through like pieces in all the sets, trying to find out what piece maybe would be most suitable. I ended up using like an exclamation mark, I think, for the piece there, um, turned in different angles, of course, and then I ended up using that as well to actually do some more of the finer details, like the waist and everything, where I needed smaller pieces. Um, turn those sideways as well to do the feet. So the exclamation mark actually came like real handy there. So that was really like good thinking from me. I don't know why I ended up using the exclamation mark to be honest, but it worked out fine. So I'm not going to question it. And then onto like the neck and the head. So again, like I said, this was really tricky. I think I used the exclamation mark as well. And I think the other reason why I used those was because you can make them actually really small if I needed to. Um, so the letters from Be Better Letters actually came... Um, very handy for doing this. I did have to redo the necklace there because it got sunken down under all the layers that I ended up putting on. But uh, yeah, now I've got to do like the eye and everything. So I'm going to use text, I think, for this. Um, like a bracket on its side is really good for an eyebrow or an eyelid. Um, you putting in that pole there as well. So yeah, I'm just going to like let you just kind of see how that turns out. I'm just going to carry on a little bit doing that. This was a little bit trying and error. I must say, but we got there in the end. I did cut a little bit of footage out just because of the way, um, how long it took me to actually find all the pieces and put it together. But uh, you get the idea of how it kind of turned out in the end. I've done the eye there, I've done the little ear, um, the mouth and the necklaces are all done. Again, just replacing that disc again on that hat, which needs to be redone. 
And yeah, I think it looks really cool. So just deleting some rocks now, I'm gonna make some more angled pieces in there to make it look a little bit more natural and organic. Um, and that is basically kind of like the entrance statue for the ride itself. So happy with how that looks. Like, I think it turned out really, really cool. Um, I had it in my head from the beginning, I decided that I was gonna do the Egyptian theme. I had it in my head that I wanted to have like a big statue or something as the entrance and this is how basically it turned out and yeah I think it's really cool maybe I could have done it a little bit better uh, but at the time of doing it which was I built this maybe like three or four weeks ago now I've been a bit behind with getting the videos out due, due to how much free time I've had to do it but uh, I really really think it looks cool um, I think two would have been too much I'm happy I just went with one so now I'm just going to do this uh, fast pass queue. So I just need to make a little space here uh, where the fast pass queue actually kind of meets the very end of the standard queue. Um, and then I'm going to use the terrain textures, which I think are just perfect. I'm so glad I found these. Um, and I'm just going like, to lay those on the floor, make a little pathway there uh, that's clear that the people in the fast pass queue can walk along. I'm going to add some rocks here as well, just kind of border to that. Um, queue line this is of course is a non-functional queue line this is just for aesthetic purposes uh, obviously in the game the actual guests can't actually use fast pass i would do think it'd be a very cool option to add into the game if they ever felt like they wanted to add it you can just add like an extra entrance on the actual ride that you're building and do a separate queue but i also don't like how the queue lines are completely one tile wide I think a half tile queue line would just be absolutely perfect, but it's not something that we have in the game. It's not possible, so I like to fake my queue lines, and um, so that's what I'm doing with this one. I will move on to that in a second. I'm just kind of tidying up the um, front here. Just wanted to make that a little bit more pleasing to the eye by having this curve uh, on the on the floor texture there, and I think that looks much better. Any imperfections, I just kind of hide with a rock, and then bits that I don't want, I just cover up with the. Um, the burial mound which I think works out perfect for like hiding little imperfections or if you want to make things look a little bit more free and organic with the edges just use the uh, burial mound it works out really really great got that tip from Astrotron who was uh, using it quite a lot and then I've stole his idea and I've never looked back since I use it all the time now um, so the fences on this side are going to be double height because I don't want guests to be able to get into the areas where there's track and then the places where there's not like a security problem um, or a health risk I'm gonna have just the standard one height fence and then the, yeah as you can see there the queue line there is gonna go up into that fast pass there and split across the front and the standard one will go around the back and all through the cattle pen um, like in a real theme park and then I'm just gonna do some theming with crates and boxes and put some foliage and everything along the side there as well so I'm just gonna finish up here doing the fencing along the fast pass queue line and if the fences don't meet anywhere or there's a gap I just fill that gap in with a little rock as some theming uh, again just to kind of fill in the gap not make it look too weird i didn't want to like overlap fences and make it look awkward either um because they clip and that just wouldn't look nice so instead of trying to like squeeze fences in if there is a gap i use a crate or a rock or something just to fill it in you often see that in real theme parks as well where they often have like big props which are actually used for like the fencing or the walls of the queue line and the best example i can think of actually is like the Mummy Returns ride in Universal Orlando or the other Universal parks. The queue line for that is really awesome. You go through like a museum of all the Egyptian stuff and like the queue line isn't just like a queue back and forward. There is lots to look at, um, crates and props and things which make the queue line. So that's really, really cool. So adding in some foliage there, which I think um, really helps this queue line come to life a little bit. I'm using the Max Freak Foliage Essentials 2 mod for that one. Um, I'm trying not to use the Photos Essentials 1 because I know that the 2 one became more used. Um, so I'm trying to stick, just the, stick to the 1 mod set for doing the foliage. And then now I just wanted to add some little signs here. So I'm going to put one uh, underneath the Fast Pass queue and one under the standard. And one's going to say Fast Pass. And the other one, of course, I'm going to uh, put like a number in it uh, for the wait time just to give it that little bit more detail. And then I've just decided to add some like hanging ropes and stuff in there just for some details. So I'm using the fast lane one that I got. I'm just using pictures that were already in the folder, maybe from other parks. And then I've got like a 90 minute wait sign on that one, which I think is quite a long queue line. Um, but I've waited longer for rides before, especially like X2 at uh, Magic Mountain. I waited a very long time to go on that one. So that is basically like the entrance marquee done. I think it looks really cool. Um, this is what I did in the last episode with the River Rapids there. It's all come together nicely. I do have some more fences to like finish up with here. Um, 
and I'm just going to add some lights quickly in now that I remember. Um, I thought these little hanging lanterns were really, really cool and definitely added a little bit more atmosphere to the queue line and to the ride. Um, but yeah, it's come together really nicely. I'm really happy with the progress that I'm making. It is taking me a little bit longer um, to build than normal because I've not had as much time, like I've said. Um, but when I have a little bit of spare time, I do try and get a little bit of work done and I share some of my progress over on my Patreon page. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to leave you with some screenshots now. Don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, be sure to check out some of my other videos. Um, yeah, and thanks to my patrons as well for the constant support. You can head over to my Patreon and get some updates every now and then on what I'm building. Uh, it's just uh, three euros a month. But thank you everyone and I'll see you all next time here on my channel for another episode. Bye. Oh.